Remember class, your essay is due tomorrow. Shit, dude, you done that yet? Huh? What? The essay, dumbass, you done it yet? Oh, no. I'll just run it through chat GPT tonight. Oh, shit, you can use it for that? Yeah? What have you been using it for? Uh... I just don't really use it. Can you two please be quiet back there? I don't know. Can we? All right, let's get this shit done. Oh, shit. That means I'll have to think... Of course, it's perfect. Let's get started. Love that part of the video. So I'm sure you're all aware of your professor's tragic passing, considering you were literally all here when it happened. I mean, you even buried her and everything. Sickos. Is he done? Anyway, I'll be taking over from now. I hear you all had an essay due last week and you're all well aware you need to present it to the class today. What did you write about the Socratic method? The what? Oh yeah, that's right. You used ChatGPT. Nah, wouldn't work. Typed it by myself in the end. Jesus, in one night? In like half an hour. It was easy. Did you write about stomping turdies? About fucking what? You there. Considering you're so talkative, do you want to present first? Do I have I'll to? I'll do it. Okay. I like your confidence. Come down here. Trust me, once you hear this, you'll kick the rest of the class out. It's so good. I'm sure I will. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I present to you, Mario. The idea versus the man. What? Everyone knows Mario is cool as fuck. Horrible opening. But who knows what he's thinking? Who knows why he crushes turtles? To save the princess? Also, what the hell does this have to do with Socrates? And why do we think about him as fondly as the mythical, non-existent Dr. Pepper? Perchance. You can't just say perchance. I believe it was Kant who said, Experience without theory is blind, but theory without experience is more like intellectual play. Okay, we might be getting somewhere. Mario exhibits experience by crushing turts all day. Oh my fucking god. But he exhibits theory by stating, Let's a go, keep it up, baby. Dude, stop. When Mario leaves his place of safety to stomp a turdy, Why do you keep abbreviating that word? He knows that he may die. And yet, for a man who can purchase lives with money, a life becomes a mere store of value. I still fail to see what this has to do with Socrates. A tax that can be paid for, much as a rich man feels any law with a fine, is a price. Okay. We think of Mario as a hero, but he is simply a one percenter of a more privileged variety. One percenter. The life kind. Okay, well that was certainly- Chance. Dude, just, just go sit down. I totally passed. The only thing that's getting passed is a restraining order against you, man. Okay, uh, Mark, you're up Audio next. Jungle. Wow, that looks like a lot. Hopefully this one will be good. We all know Luigi. Mario's bro-conspirator, his abrociate, his bro-operator, his bro-laborator, his bro-mate. But what if there was 